So, Mr. Chris, a driving instructor gives a student sudden stop to car in shortest possible time. So, this is the speed time graph that we have because the car is uh, stopping. So, that is why. So, from uh, 0 to 0 to 0 0.9 second, we see that the graph is constant, the speed is the same. And after 0 0.9 second, the speed starts decreasing. So, the question that they are asking is the order to stop is given at t is equal to 0 second. State the speed of the car at t is equal to 0 second. So, what is the answer, Chris? Mr. Chris, am I audible? Yes, sir. 80 meter per second square. 80, yeah. Great. So, the answer would be when I look at the graph, the answer is 80. Chris, one second. Suggest why the car continues to travel at this speed for 0 0.9 uh, seconds. That, that, uh, that is the reaction distance. Yeah, because suddenly it won't stop. Yes. So that is why it would take some time, some time to stop. Yes, sir. The reaction time or the reaction yeah. distance. Yes, yeah. the reaction distance or the reaction time. Great. So, B part calculate the deacceleration of the car from 0 0.9 second to 4 second. How should we calculate this? Uh, uh, just so, so, first is 18 divided by divided by 3.1. So, delta V upon delta T. Yes. This would be uh, final minus initial upon time, time is 4 minus 0 0.9. Is it correct? Yes, sir. So, the answer is 5 point minus 5.806 meter per second. So, you can calculate this and you will find the answer. And because the answer is negative, that is why this is deacceleration. Chris, are we clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let us look at the MCQs. One second. Let us look at the MCQs. Yeah. So, what is the right answer? So, this is uh, I think C question. C. Speed time graph moving in straight line acceleration of the car when the time is 40 seconds. See, Chris, at 40 seconds, I have to find the slope of the curve. The yes. slope of the curve at 40 second is zero. Have you understood this? Yes, sir. So that is why the answer would be zero meter per second. Is it making sense? Yes, sir. Two runners take part in a race. Graph shows how speed each changes with time. Uh, runner 1 is overtaking runner 2. Yeah. So, at uh, time t, see, if we look at runner 1, so his speed is increasing yes. constantly. Yes, sir. And uh, if we look at uh, runner 2, his speed first increases, then he is uh, decreasing. Mm -hmm. Yes. But runner 1 is constantly increasing. Do we see this? Yes, sir. So, except for A, all the questions are wrong. All the answers are wrong. So, Based this would be the B point. Right. See, if we look at runner 2, the yes. speed, first, he, he starts with the, he starts with greater speed than runner 1. But by this time t, if you see runner t, he has considerably reduced his speed. But runner 1 is constantly increasing his speed. So that is why at this point, what will happen is that runner 1 would overtake runner 2. Is it making sense? Yes, sir. So the best answer that we have is C part. Do we agree to this? Yes, sir. Okay. 
let us look at this this is a speed time graph yes. resulted force we know force is equal to mass into acceleration yes, if resultant force is zero then acceleration should be zero do we agree to this yes sir now we, if we look at the speed time graph this is the the region where the acceleration is zero do we agree yes sir yes sir so at region b the resultant force would be equal to zero do we agree to this yes sir Speed time graph. The answer is C. Speed. Which distance time graph shows this? Okay. So the question is: a object moves at a constant speed for some time, then begins to accelerate. Yes. Sir. So this is speed time. The slope of speed time. Oh, sorry. The slope of distance time gives the speed. So this is yes, a distance sir. time graph. Therefore, this would be. constant speed do we agree yes sir and then it becomes to accelerate it is increasing the speed so yes, that is why this would be the correct answer do we agree yes sir great graph shows how distance travel changes with time yes sir okay for the answer in t the answer is d in per dog yes sir increasing zero and pounds okay the distance time speed so for a distance time graph first i'll look at the axis for a distance time graph the slope of a distance time graph gives the speed now if i look at uh, the p to q p to q yes sir my slope is constant therefore no, my speed is constant do we agree yes sir if we look at qr my slope is zero so yes sir from pq the speed is constant but in qr the speed is zero do we agree yes sir and then again it is constant in rs again it is constant do we agree yes sir so constant zero constant so the best answer is a yes chris do we agree yes sir yes sir okay car travels along horizontal line straight line possesses accelerator to increase the speed speed time graph this is a speed time graph first always look at the axis acceleration of the car can you tell me the acceleration sir 0.50 meter per second sir it would be v2 minus v1 upon upon t2 t2 minus t1 0 10 upon 20 Is equal to 0.5 meter per second square. Do you agree? Yes, sir. <coughs> Great. So, speed time graph. Sir. So, acceleration in the first five second is given by the area p. No, this is yes. incorrect because this is displacement. Yes. Area is displacement. Yes. Acceleration increases between W and X. W yes, and X. No, it doesn't increase. It remains constant yes, because the slope is constant. It is not increasing. Yes. Sir. Acceleration is negative from Y and Z. Yes, acceleration yes, is sir. negative. The acceleration between Y and Z is twenty divided by twenty-five. Incorrect. So the d acceleration between y and z is zero minus twenty upon fifteen minus 
15. So this again is incorrect. So the right answer would be C part. Chris, do we agree? Yes, sir. Distance traveled changes the time. This is distance. This is time. Yes. This we have done. This we have done. Done before. Okay. Speed time graph. Yes. Acceleration in the first 10 seconds is 10 minus 0 upon 10 minus 0. So this is correct? Yes. So usually one answer is correct. So this would be the correct answer. Do we agree? Yes, sir. So I think we did questions till here only. Anna? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Fine. So, are we are we comfortable with the velocity, time, distance, and graphs? Yes. Sir. Okay. Great.